In this video, we're going to work with several variables instead of just one under a radical sign. When working with several variables, you always want to work with one variable at a time and not get overwhelmed with the fact that there's multiple variables under the radical. In example one, we know that since the radical has no number in the index, it's understood to be a square root, which means there's an unseen two here. Because of that, we're going to take the exponent and divide it by the index to determine what needs to be pulled out of the radical. Five divided by two will give us a two with a remainder of one. Notice that the part that's divided or the number of times the index will go into the exponent is the number of a's that are being multiplied to each other outside the radical. Since we've finished working with the first variable, we can move on to the next. This variable is b. There are eight b's multiplied to each other and we take that exponent and divide it by the index, which again as I've said, is a two. Two will go into eight four times. So b to the fourth is what can come out of the radical. What's left over is zero. There's a remainder of zero. C is to the fifteenth or it's c multiplied to itself 15 times. Two will go into 15 seven times with a remainder of one. It's important to remember that anything to the first power is simply written as itself and understood to be to the first power b to the zero is the same as one. So anything times one is just itself, so we don't have to keep b in there since it's just one. We can rewrite all the pieces that were pulled out and remember they're all multiplied to each other. So this final solution or simplification of the radical is a to the second, b to the fourth, c to the seventh, all times the radical or square root of ac. In example two, we have a fourth root. Our index is four. And so we take each variable separately, working it on them one at a time, starting with a to the thirteenth. Again, I will rewrite the radical and work from left to right throughout all my variables. Four will go into thirteen three times with a remainder of one. Moving on to b, four will go into twenty-three five times with a remainder of three. Four will go into ten two times with a remainder of two. Moving on to d, four will go into three zero times, so our remainder is just three. Moving on to e, four will go into thirty-six nine times with a remainder of zero.
we know that this is again equivalent to one. A to the first power is just A, and so we can rewrite our final simplification of the radical as A to the third times B to the fifth times C to the second times E to the ninth times the fourth root of A, B to the third, C to the second, D to the third, times one, which we don't even bother to write since it's exactly the same thing.